it's really hard to say for now, but for now, like, you can, I think it's kind of obvious that they're a lower level team right now. Uh, they're just, like, bottom half. But I wouldn't want to put them at, like, 10th place. I think it's just too hard to say that. Uh, that being said, the, today's draft, I think, was their main issue. They had, even though they had a really good scaling composition and really good team fighting, they had no ways of forcing anything. So that's why the game looked so clean, because they just really didn't have any answers to what we were doing. It's pretty boring for the spectator and for the player because all you're doing is just farming and healing up and it seems like a little bit... Um, it's kind of sad because you have to do it, I guess that's the problem. Like, There's no real like other, other option. I think some AD carriers have like attempted Dorn, Dorn's Blade and maybe it can work, but it just really feels like you have to go Dorn, uh, Relic Shield and then upgrade it to Targons. So maybe it's the fact that there's no really like diverse way to play it. it's just you just it's just better than every other item i think that's the issue i'm trying to remember how many teams i've been on maybe maybe this is my fifth or my sixth this is it my fifth um i think it's my fifth and i think i don't i don't really know why i change teams a lot i think it also it sometimes it has to do with poor performance and then they don't want me or we get relegated which is also kind of poor performance. So I'm really hoping to stay with this team, you know, especially with the franchise going through. I really like this organization that I'm on right now, and I think we're doing a really good job of working with each other. So, yeah, I mean, it feels kind of weird having or knowing that I've been on so many different teams, but I really hope this one, I really hope I stay on this one. I think Shock Collar is... It kind of uh, makes it seem like I'm the only one talking, and I don't really think that's true. I think right now, maybe I've been talking a lot more, and I've put on like a lot more responsibility on myself to shock call. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's so. I think like I really do think that everyone is putting in their own like they have their own responsibility and is talking. Um, Lyra maybe not as much, obviously, because he doesn't speak as much English. But I think. We're all doing a really good job of communicating with each other, and yes, I may be talking more, but everyone's doing, you know, like I said, everyone's doing their job. So if you're not a shot caller, what's the, what's the proper term <laughs> that you won't get upset before? I don't know what the proper term is. I think maybe, I guess you can use shot caller for now as a, as a placement <laughs> until we figure it out. Head talker. Head talker. Most talker. <laughs> Most talker Apollo. <laughs> A lot of the teams I've been on haven't been like there hasn't been shot hasn't been shot calling <laughs> just a bunch of random plays. Uh, maybe the most the most like God yeah I don't know. Um, even on like even on Envy you know everything everyone just was talking and we all had our own ideas and like all we all had our own plays in mind. I don't think there was necessarily like, a single shot caller. And before that was like Apex and it was the same way. I think maybe only Team Impulse was the one. It was a lot of uh, Impact and Rush were talking a lot. But there was no like, you know, one person shot calling. So, yeah, it's, I, I don't have that much experience with like one person, ta you know, taking all that responsibility. I think I, uh, I think, I remember Zig being in the game too. And then maybe Skara. But yeah, I just... We uh, found out, <laughs> and then I let my I let my team know, and that why well, I told the enemy team, to, you know. I told the enemy team mid game. Yeah, that what did you say? I said that I was having a rough day. I wanted them to let or to forfeit. Did they? No, they no mercy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I don't really know, but I guess going for going from the first game, I guess a rival could be Golden Guardians because it's like you know Rockets versus the. Golden State Warriors. I don't really know if that's a good rival, but you're not feeling it yet. Yeah, I don't like feel the the rival, like the blood. You know what I mean? I'll but see you again in, in a couple months. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I don't know if we have a good rival yet, but for now, I guess the Golden Guardians. Well, first off, it's a lot more refreshing because it's I don't have. It's not like an extra step, pretty much. You know, you just say what you want to do, and then that's it. You know, there's no like mid trans you know translation mid game or like speaking broken english so that your koreans can understand uh it's just a lot easier and simpler and you can focus on all the other things that you need to improve on um 
And I think, like, for this team specifically, obviously, like, having English speaking is nice, but it's the fact that we're also pretty experienced. So we don't have to, we don't have to, like, well, we still do have to go over the basics, obviously, but that's just, like, refining the basics almost. But, like, everyone kind of knows how to play the game and just has the basic understanding and general understanding of the game so we can focus on other things. So not only do we have, you know, mainly English speaking lineup, it's also they're just more experienced and it's just easier. For more league interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.